Hi, this is uh, CS170. I just wanted to do a very quick video to cover some questions around um, HTML files and working on uh, images. Um, so I think there's been some questions. Uh, so just to be clear, when we look at, let's say, the HTML, 5editor.net, that I showed in class, all that is is really just to uh, have you be able to put in some HTML and see the results like right away. Um, so when you're actually doing your assignment, um, you're going to be doing uh, it in an HTML file and then it'll load up into a browser and all of that has to go into your assignment 3. Um, <clears throat> and you may notice there's uh, some description about uh, having a reference to, uh, let's say, a picture on the internet and you link into it like with the full path versus, uh, you know, having a local file and showing it locally. So I'm going to step into that in a second, okay? But the other thing that uh, people might be have some problem with is you notice for the HTML file, you see it's .html, okay? So that's uh, important. That's an extension. And so let me show you this. Um, if you go over to the top part where it says view, and you can see <coughs> file name extensions. So you see what happens when I unclick it. Okay, you can see all of this is gone. All right, so this, this is a tricky thing, right? So now <coughs> you see something like this index, it's really .html, but you can't tell because it's not showing it. And I think that's where some people are getting some confusion because they go into an editor and whatever and it keeps on saving it as a .txt file or, or whatever. Uh, and you really need this to be in a .html format. So really the best way to do this is click on that and then you can see all of the extensions pop back again. Okay, so that's one thing I would suggest. Uh, if you don't, if you're not really sure of what the extension is, uh, you can click on that to see it, and then you can change it. You can rename it to whatever you want, right? So I click on this, <clears throat> and then you can make it whatever you want, right? So a lot of times, let's say you open up like Notepad or something, and you save it. Uh, let's say I save index, right? And then what it would do, it would say index.txt, like this. It would say this. And you get this little error or warning message and you can see like this little thing uh, became like like any other text document right uh, and that's where a problem because now if you try to refer to this for your HTML it's not going to work so let's flip this back make it HTML okay now there could be a trick to this that uh, you might go and do a search, you know, for uh, a sample HTML file, and then just copy it uh, and bring it into your file system, and then just rename it to whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, that's another way to, to kind of do it. But if you really wanted to just set your file extension the way I just did it, uh, we'll allow you to do that. Okay, so that's one thing that I think some people are getting uh, caught up on. Uh, but let's um, let's edit this. So I brought up in my editor Notepad plus plus. Okay, now it just happens I choose this. Um, I believe if you're using a, a MacBook, um, there should also be a text editor on the MacBook that you can do something equivalent. Now you can do things like on VS Code. You can do things like on Atom and whatnot. Uh, and if your TAs are working on that, uh, that's fine. Um, you know, the nice thing about those type of tools, it has like some extra little hints and whatnot to try to check your code and uh, point out different things to see where maybe you have something wrong. Um, but I kind of think we're trying to keep these pages fairly simple. So it's kind of okay if you just want to use regular text editor. So uh, here I'm using Notepad++, <clears throat> something you can just uh, quickly download. Uh, if you can be careful with the extension, you could just use the regular notepad also uh, that comes with uh, Windows. And like I said, for, for Mac, they have a default uh, little text editor that you can uh, edit with. You just have to manage 
the .html extension. Okay, so let me uh, just go through this. So what I've done here <clears throat> uh, is I am trying to see if I can maybe I can zoom this or not. Uh, yeah, we can zoom this. Okay. I don't know if it helps or not if I zoom this a little bit more. Okay, so let me make this wider so you can see the whole thing. So I put a couple of different samples here just for your information, but I'm going to highlight probably what you want to do for assignment three. So you have this one, and this is similar to the other example I gave in the class. You have the IMG, so all this is the same between all of these. You can see this, right? So IMG source equals. And then, you know, I just basically put out the full path of this page on the internet. Okay? And then you can remember uh, I did a style and then a float none, right? It could also be right or left, right? So instead of none, this could be right or left. And then here, I just put in this description. In this case, I, I'm doing the koala again. Um, and then you can remember you can set the width and the height. Okay? So that's one thing that you want to do. So you can grab whatever image, point to it, uh, and this is what it would look like. Okay, and so most likely you'll probably click on something uh, and you'll get uh, whatever as a .jpg, right? Um, let me uh, do this and show you how I got to it. So let me say it went to images going a little bit slow taking some images uh, here okay so uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go with this guy here. So I just clicked on it a little bit. Hopefully the page will come up. Okay, and then I went here and say copy image address. Okay, so I, I copy image address with the right mouse button. I'm going to close this up here, close this up. And that's how I ended up with this. Okay, so if you want to get an image on the internet somewhere, just go and do that. Uh, and you'll be able to paste that <clears throat> into here. Okay, so the general format for any of the pictures uh, is IMG, source, you put in whatever picture you want to put in. Uh, and this type of stuff to help you know put the <clears throat> where you want it to float, uh, the description, uh, and then uh, these attributes here or style, uh, width and height. Okay, and that's what you get on this page here. So you got this picture on the left, and then I just use the same picture here. So I did a couple of different ways. Okay, one, this is like a full path. Okay, this is what you would call the absolute path. Okay, and similar for this one up here too, for your for your web page uh, reference. Okay, so that's uh, absolute path. And then uh, over here, you have um, the uh, relative path. Okay. Um, now, I think for the purpose for this assignment. You know, you should probably do this one here. Okay, this one, all this is saying is with this dot slash and then put the file here, all that's saying is that the shisa.jpg is in the same folder as your index.html. I kind of did this one here with the dot dot slash to show that I went up to the desktop uh, and it's sort of traversing that tree. You remember in the lecture we talked about the tree structure and how you can traverse the tree. Um, so I kind of did that, but for the purpose of assignment three, I wouldn't worry about that. But 
you know, the difference between absolute and relative path, you should try to understand that for the exam. Okay, but I'm kind of focusing as this is a quick video uh, just to cover uh, the questions that I'm seeing for assignment three uh, that people are having. Uh, so focus on this one and this one. In fact, you know what? I'm going to just take these two suckers out here. All right? So it's nice and simple. This is for the first part where you're getting the path from like a file out on the internet. And this is your local file uh, where the file for the picture is in the same directory as your HTML file. Okay, so same folder here. So when your TAs upload it, uh, they'll be able to see your picture. All right, uh, did I save this? Let me save this. Let me refresh this guy here. And there you go. Okay. Um, you know, and these things, once you have it down, you can play around with it, right? I mean, you can just go in here and just mess around with the numbers or whatever. It's going to make it look weird, but you, you get what I'm saying. You can play around with it. Uh, okay, so now I got like a little squat koala bear there. Um, anyway, uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, for people that have, still have questions about this for assignment three, shoot me an email, shoot the TAs an email. Uh, the TAs are actually the ones that grade your assignments, so if there's some questions about how they're going to interpret something or how they want things, you want to kind of check with them. But, um, you know, I would tell you that uh, the main thing you want to do is, uh, you know, give this full path here for the reference on the picture you find on the internet, and then make sure you have this dot slash and the name of your file for your local file, and you're going to include that when you submit uh, to your TA. Uh, and remember what I'm telling you here about the dot HTML. If you don't have this extension showing, you're going to have a lot of problems. Uh, unless you futz around with it, you copy HTML file from somewhere else. Um, so pay attention to this and hopefully that addresses uh, problems that you might be seeing for assignment three. If not, come and uh, pop me an email. All right, thank you.